and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I have another stamping plate swatch review video. And before I get started, I have a new filming stand. So this video might look slightly different than it used to. So just bear with me as I'm getting used to it. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L40. And as always, you can find information on where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my usual stamper and scraper along with six coloured nail tips that I'll be using for these swatches. For the first swatch I'll be using a dark teal green coloured nail tip along with a super dark green stamping polish. It's almost black. When I use large images like this one, I apply two thin lines, one at the top and one in the middle. This means I'm not using excess polish. I see so many that cover the whole image and it really is just a waste of polish and not needed. With this color combo, you can just about see the dark green, but it's a nice image though. For the next swatch, I'll be using a white coloured nail tip along with a metallic purple stamping polish. I rarely use this colour, but it is absolutely stunning. When you have lines in the image, make sure that you scrape in the directions of the lines. This will mean that you'll get a good coverage on the image. If the lines go in multiple directions, then scrape in multiple ways. This is a gorgeous image and I just love that purple. For the next swatch I'll be using a dark yellow coloured nail tip along with a shimmery burgundy red. Again I very rarely use this colour but it's another beautiful polish to use and it works so well over the dark yellow. I am trying to use colours I don't use a lot to mix up the colour combos a bit. This image would work the way I've stamped it or by turning it upside down and it would give a different look to the image. But again another really nice swatch. For the next swatch I'll be using a light blue coloured nail tip along with a shimmery deep blue stamping polish. I personally adore images like this, they are just so pretty and can be placed on the nail pretty much anywhere and they work in any colour combo as well. Now that flat book that I'm using to remove the excess, it's from the brand of stamping polish that I use, it's called a sticky pad and I quite like it to be fair, it does make the removal of the excess really easy. I almost use this image for one of the manis I created, but it's a beautiful swatch. For the next swatch, I'll be using a light grey coloured nail tip along with a soft denim grey stamping polish. This is a new stamping polish to me and I've used it quite a bit for these swatch videos that are coming to my channel. I really like it over the light grey. You can see that blue denim undertone coming through over the top of that grey. It's absolutely beautiful. Now you could, with that empty space, use some raw glitter in it or a glitter gel polish or some crystals, but it's a really nice image and a very pretty colour combo. For the next swatch I'll be using a pink coloured nail tip along with a medium coral red. Again, another new stamping polish to me. And over the pink it just works so well. This will definitely be a Manny colour combo that I use in the future. And again, with this image, you could place it anywhere on the nail to be fair and it would look amazing. And also, there is another small triangle that could be filled in as well. But it's a really sweet little image though. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and manis that I've created from this Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L40. Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L40 is a beautiful filigree inspired stamping plate. In total there is 55 images, two large at the very bottom of the stamping plate along with three words and then there is 50 mixed size images from the really small at the top of the plate to the long images at the bottom of the plate. I did feel that the words were a little bit random. Nicole Diary Stamping Plates don't tend to have words unless it is a word plate if that makes any sense but there is some really pretty images across the whole of L40. Now I know that some Nicole diary stamping plates are very hard to get hold of at the moment and I'm not sure why that is but this plate at the making of this video I could find it 
it was everywhere. A lot of Nicole Diary stamping plates that I have at the moment, I purchased back in 2021. And the link in the description box is just from where I purchased from. There are lots of places on AliExpress and eBay that sell Nicole Diary stamping plates. So do check about, because they are about. Now with the stamping plate swatches, I've tried to use different color combos, as well as use the new stamping polishes that I have recently reviewed here on my channel. So both you and I can see what they look like and that I can have a play around with color combos. I have tried to keep the color combos to spring colors because obviously that is the time of year that we are going into at the moment. So there is lots of pastel colors that I have used. I am really happy with how all the swatches have turned out. I think they look really good. I do like a plate to have small and large images because I'd like to use them together when creating manis. And you'll see that on one of the manis that I've created for this video. And just like my other stamping plate videos, I have created two manis, which I'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. Now, my trick for using images with central lines is to start laying the stamper down at the bottom of the nail and then slowly go up the nail to the top. I don't know why, but if I do it the other way round, so top down to the bottom, I end up with the most wonkiest lines ever. But starting at the bottom, I don't get them as bad. This style of plate can be used all year round. I do find that styles like L40 can work with other nail art as well, like crystals or raw glitter. So they are what I call versatile images, which personally I do like to have in my stamping plate collection. Now there is gonna be a slight change to my channel because I have a new filming stand. It's much, much easier to work with. And because of that, I've decided that out of the two manis that I create for a stamping plate review video, I will film one of them and then that money will be then edited and uploaded here to my channel. So you can see how I've created that money. There is always a list of products I've used for each money in the description box below anyway. I have this stamping plate video and two others coming in the next six to eight weeks. So I have filmed one of the monies from each of them plate. Now I'm not 100% sure yet if this will stay or not, but for now it will be a part of my channel. It really just gives you more of how I work behind the scenes and how I create monies and different tips and tricks that I can give for creating monies. I would love to hear your feedback on what you think to this change. The money from this video will be my next video to be uploaded so stay tuned for that because I really like this Manny and I think you will as well. In this video I will tell you which one I have filmed. If you don't like that then again please tell me but I'm really excited for this. So this is the Manny that I have filmed and it's perfect for all year round but especially spring and summer. For the base colour I've used an aqua teal colour gel polish it is one of my favorites and it's such a perfect color for spring and summer it reminds me of aqua azure seas now i've also finished this mani with a glossy top coat but it would also work with a matte top coat as well for the stamping i've used a vintage teal green stamping polish which is new to me this is the first mani that i've created with it and felt that the base color and the stamping polish would work really well together I've used a mix of large image and small image to create this money and they really do look nice next to each other. Now on the smaller images, I've added around the top of the nail some aquamarine crystals and some silver caviar beads. And I feel that this just finishes the money off. I don't work very often with caviar beads, but they do work really well alongside crystals. I absolutely love this money and would definitely wear it on my nails, but stay tuned to watch how I created this money in my next video. The second money I've used an ivory gel polish as my base colour. I don't use ivory very much, but it's definitely been on my list of colours to use for a mani. And ivory coloured manis can be worn all year round, but definitely in the autumn. Again, this mani would work matte, but I've used a glossy top coat to finish this mani off with. For the stamping, I've used a muted grey yellow stamping polish. It is more of a mustard yellow and it works so well alongside the ivory base colour. 
This again is a new stamping polish to me and this is the first money I've created with it. And it's not a usual color combo for me to use. Now I've used a collection of the sweeping line images at the bottom of the plate. So each nail is different and also placed in different places on the nail. Now on the images were these really tiny little dots. And what I thought would work well with that was tiny little crystals over the top of them so that's what i've done i've never created a mani like that but i really do like the outcome and the color of the crystal is topaz and again the color base to the stamping polish to the crystals they all just work so well together i'm not sure if i would wear this mani in this color combo but I would definitely like to create it in another color combo so that I would wear it. I really like the stamping, but I'm really happy with the finished results. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days, along with the manis and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I would be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L40. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.